Hi, I'm Monique Hom. I'm co-founder of Real Estate Investor Goddesses. I've been a real estate investor for 11 years, investing in single family rentals, duplexes, house flips, apartment buildings, and mobile home parks. Over the years, there's one thing I've noticed very few of, very few women. There are very few women investors. And Real Estate Investor Goddesses is all about changing that. Because I know that it's not because women don't want to invest in real estate. A lot of women aren't in this game because they are terrified. They are terrified of losing their panties in real estate. And I'm here to say, ladies, don't fear. Here's what you need to do to not lose your panties in real estate. How to avoid losing your panties in real estate in five simple steps. One, be clear about your desires. Many people lose money because they don't get clear about their real estate desires, what they want or need their investment to do. So they end up investing in the wrong type of property for them. For example, let's say you need to invest in something that gives you cash flow right away and will give you back all of your initial investment within two to three years. If you invest in a real estate development that doesn't cash flow and ties up your money for five to seven years, that's a bad investment for you. The more clear you can get about why you want to invest and what benefits you desire, the less likely you'll be to invest in a property where you'll lose your panties. Two, be resourceful. Many people lose money in real estate because they don't dedicate enough resources for the investment property they have chosen. The main resources you need to invest in real estate are money, time, and experience. You need time to find and manage your investment property, you need money to purchase it, renovate it, as needed, and maintain it. Lastly, you need experience to find the right property and manage it effectively. Get very clear on how much of each you personally have and where you might be lacking. The good news is, if you're lacking in any of these areas, you can partner with other people that have the time, money, and or experience you are seeking. A real estate investor goddess knows she doesn't need to personally have all the resources at hand. She just needs to be resourceful enough to partner with others who do. Three, have a great team. Many investors lose money because they try to do everything alone or they don't have the right team. Successful real estate investors know this is a team sport. You want the greatest team members as possible around you. Team members such as brokers, property managers, lenders, accountants, and more will be a big part of the resources that you rely upon. You can leverage their time, experience, and in some cases, their money, for example, lenders, to get you successfully invested in a property. Four, know your market. Many investors fail because they buy in the wrong market or submarket. Successful investors buy in areas where people want or need to be, areas with strong job and population growth. They also buy where they and or their partners and team members are very knowledgeable. The difference between a successful investment and a failed investment can be as little as one wrong city block. To not lose your panties, make sure you know your market well or have a trusted team member or members who do. Five, buy the right property. Last but not least, you can lose your money in real estate by buying the wrong property. What's the right property? It depends upon your desires. The right property will deliver the benefits you desire. If you want to buy a property that will provide you cash flow and will appreciate in value, then you should look for a property that A, cash flows from day one, and B, has value added potential. A good property is one that is an ugly duckling. It could use some sprucing, but isn't in such bad shape that fixing it up will take all the profits. A great ugly duckling could have good plumbing, electrical foundations and roof, but have outdated apartments. If you give the apartments a new paint job, new flooring, and some new appliances, the tenants will happily pay more rent. You'll have added to the income and therefore the value of the property. You can also find value add potential through a property that hasn't been managed properly. By putting in better management, you can find ways to bring in new income streams, find ways to decrease costs, and have happier tenants. All this adds value to your property and increases the bottom line. 
Those are five ways to invest in real estate without losing your panties. If you follow these five steps, not only will you get to keep your panties, you'll be able to afford a whole new wardrobe, or 10. For more advice, support, and inspiration for your real estate endeavors, join Real Estate Investor Goddesses. See the link below. And let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video.